Hi guys, welcome to a little unboxing video on the Samson WB350F. I'm gonna unbox this. And uh, got the knife out. Do a little slice. Okay, so. Oh, crud. Came with a. Uh, came with a 16 gig SD card. That's cool. Awesome. Didn't even know that was in there. Here is the uh, camera itself. Yeah. It's in another box. All right. So, within the box is another box. We're gonna go ahead and open this one up. There you go. Well, okay. There's the camera. Right on top. Stuck in there pretty nicely. Camera actually is very compact, really nice though. So there's your camera. You go underneath it, and it looks like all your documentation is underneath there. How do we get to it? Is another thing. Okay. There you go. There's your, your documentation. There's also a. Uh, there's your battery pack, cables, charger, if you don't like those prongs, and it's going to come out here on the bottom, <laughs> your little, little lanyard. And that is it. box is empty. Nothing else. Alright, that's the unboxing. Stay tuned for the video to come. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is the Samson WB350F. Now this is a 60 megapixel camera. <clears throat> Works out really nice and it has a 21x optical zoom. Wi-Fi capability, tons of other little functions. Primarily, I use the Wi-Fi and the optical zoom. I like them both. Um, overall, very lightweight. Has this sort of retro sort of 35 millimeter camera look to it I like it a lot now for those of you who don't remember 35 millimeter cameras or know what I'm talking about don't worry about it uh, the look and feel of the camera is actually really nice it has that very compact lightweight sort of look to it it, it feels really good in hand too now on the top you have your internal flash which you can go ahead and press the button here popping out the flash highly recommended for indoor use or low light use. Uh, definitely use a flash. If not, you probably gonna get some grainy photos. It happened to me and I really didn't like the photos how they came out without the flash. Once I started using it, the problem was gone. It worked out really great. Now, uh, the other little buttons here up on the top, you have your microphone, you have your dedicated off and on, you have your little rocker here, your main photo button, and then this little toggle right here that allows you to go through all your different little modes. Now with this, most of you are going to be using the auto mode. Um, there's tons of different little things that this camera does. It can edit photos. You can almost do almost everything with it but cook a meal. <laughs> but uh, really neat. Now my, my little gripe was that I always, well I use basically the Wi-Fi mode the most with the auto mode. And when I put it in the Wi-Fi mode, um, the camera starts up but it starts up in Wi-Fi mode. So it's already there and sometimes when I turned it off I didn't change it back in and when I went to grab the camera and take that little picture real quick you know that that moment that it just lasts for a few seconds and I press the button pops into Wi-Fi mode and I'm like what the hell's going on I can't take the photo and then I had to go back in and you know change it out and so that was my little gripe it's sort of a pain in the butt but it's my fault not the camera's fault the camera operates perfectly fine but I noticed myself doing that quite a bit now I do like this is a touch screen so you can actually focus on the specific point that you want and that works out really great on the back end you have your other controls your main menu button go back uh, and set up your flash and all that kind of stuff playback delete photos and then your dedicated video button this does shoot full 1080p the video quality is actually very nice and I did like it quite a bit but I'm not really using it for video it's more for the photos and uh, the Wi-Fi built in now the Wi-Fi with the app, you can actually take photos, control the camera, zoom in, zoom out, 
uh, take pictures and then save them both on the camera and also onto your phone so really cool but issues with it it's not as good as Sony's um, app that does the sort of the same thing there's about a four second delay between what you see on your camera and what you're seeing on your phone and stuff but it works out you can take photos I noticed though that after a prolonged time of taking photos with the uh, with the camera and stuff that I actually had to shut it off and restart the app just because I was getting really bad lag or having some issues where the camera actually froze up so just be aware of that just restart it it will work out and uh, you won't have no issues with it so with that said um, on the bottom you have your main compartment here for your battery go ahead and open that up your micro SD card and then your plug-in for your tripod mount you have your main charging port on the side and that's about it now when you purchase you get your cables you have your little plug-in uh, these prongs don't fold so that's a little bit of a pain in the butt also because they can stab you in the leg or they take up a lot of room because they don't fold but you know maybe Samson will change that later on but you have that you have your little charging cable and then a lanyard I had the lanyard on the camera I just took it off just for the video just because I was gonna move it around and show it off so uh, definitely put the lanyard on though because I accidentally slipped this out of my hands once or twice so didn't actually hit the ground because I had a lanyard on you know and that was always save you so the camera came in at just under two hundred dollars I like it quite a bit it was a great purchase I uh, highly recommend it uh, if it's gonna be your primary camera Maybe you want to think about getting though an extra battery for it, just so if you do run it low, uh, you can actually switch it out real quick. It does have a little bit large, long charging time, but with that said, it is a really great camera and operates very well and has a lot of functionality. So that is a look at the Samson WB350F. Any questions, feel free to ask. You guys have a good one. Be safe, take care, and I'll definitely talk to you soon. Video is in full 1080p. You can zoom in, zoom out, but you do hear a little bit of the motor. Uh, video is pretty nice, though.